Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the blower motor in this 2004 Chrysler Sebring. It's the same process in the Sebrings from 2001 to 2006, as well as the Dodge Stratuses from the same time. And the only tools you'll need is a 7mm socket and ratchet and a new blower motor from 1AAuto.com. Your blower motor is located on the passenger side underneath the dash here and you're going to first have to remove this nut by just twisting it off. You can do it by hand actually. Once that's removed you can just pull that insulation down and out Okay, so I'm going to try to show you the screws to remove on the blower motor. There's one up at the top left of your screen. You want to remove that. It's a Phillips screw and a 7mm bolt. Either one works. And then there's another one on the right there. And then there's one right down there. And before you remove those, you want to just disconnect this harness. It'll make it a little bit easier. You just push a tab and pull it out. And we'll just fast forward as Don removes those bolts. Again, you can use a 7mm socket or you can use a Phillips screwdriver. And once those are removed, the blower motor will just pull down and out. So the old part's on the left and the new part from 1A Auto is on the right. You can see they're identical, same mounting points, same everything, it'll fit exactly the same. Put the new blower motor up into place. You may have to pull back some harnesses to get it up in there. Fast forward here as we put those 7mm uh, screws back up in. Again, you could use a Phillips screwdriver as well. And you tighten these up, tighten them up nice and firm, but you don't want to over tighten them. You don't want to strip out the plastic that you're going into. Reconnect the harness and you can do a test here if you wanted to. Make sure it's working before you put the insulation back in. Then put that insulation back up in and put the nut back on to hold it. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.